Holger Runa has built an impressively polished all-court game before his 20th birthday. He's a player equally strong on his forehand and backhand, with no apparent shortcomings in power or speed, great touch, and a highly competitive attitude. A quick look at his game, and one might jump to the conclusion that the teenager from Denmark has no weakness. But those who have chronicled his young career know. A rather unusual issue has delayed Runa's progress. Cramping. Runa developed a reputation for being cramp-prone from the time he was playing challengers, and eventually the problem surfaced under the sport's brightest lights in what was at the time the biggest match of Holger's young career. With Novak Djokovic going for the calendar slam at the 2021 US Open, Runa ignited a rowdy crowd with a second set tiebreak victory, but it was clear already by late in the third set that Runa's legs weren't going to allow a stunning upset. He was cramping by the hour 40 mark. His first serve speeds in the fourth and final set averaged under 100 miles per hour. Djokovic won it 6-1. At the time, it was natural to wonder if cramps of all things were going to hold back Holger Runa's career. Well, over a year later, we reflect and revisit that question. Cramps are painful. They once made Caroline Wozniacki cry during a match, and once made Kiki Burtons leave the court in a wheelchair. Remarkably, both women managed to win those matches. And similarly, Runa's frequent episodes of cramping have given him an opportunity to showcase his commendable toughness and will. Examples of Runa winning despite being severely compromised physically have already piled up. His May win over Manuel Guinar in Lyon while cramping was akin to a Marvel superhero movie. But ultimately, Runa would rather not show off his pain tolerance on such a regular basis. In March of 2021, months before that match with Djokovic, Runa took to Instagram to crowdsource tips on avoiding them. After the Djokovic match, Runa told tennis majors that he had seen multiple specialists in both Denmark and France. It may seem strange that a world-class athlete could be so flummoxed by this issue, but it's been exceedingly difficult for scientists to study cramping because it's difficult to trigger it consistently in scientific laboratories. Journals published in the National Library of Medicine as recently of 2019 have concluded, quote, no prevention strategy or treatment is consistently effective. As for causes, dehydration and electrolyte imbalance is the most common culprit, followed by general muscle fatigue. It's certainly popular among internet commentators to blame cramping on a lack of fitness, but Runa is known in the locker room for his dedication. British player Anton Matusevic once said of Holger, quote, the guy has no life. He just plays tennis every day. He is just going to make so many balls, lock in every point. So there's little doubt that Runa has worked hard on his fitness at his Monte Carlo base, and there's little doubt Runa is taking his hydration and salt intake seriously. Some studies have suggested that anxiety can also contribute to cramping. Countless former players have remarked that their cramping was generally accompanied by nerves. And weeks after that Djokovic defeat, Runa was asked about his cramping and said that relaxing more on court was a key in his effort to reduce the issue. Overuse of muscles is another widely cited cause. In one of Runa's most recent cramping flare-ups versus Kaspar Ruud in Monte Carlo, he was playing his ninth match in 10 days. But overall, Runa has cut down on his matches significantly since breaking into the top 50. In 2021, Runa played 99 total matches. This year, he'll finish under 75. Recent signs for Runa are overwhelmingly positive. He swiftly dismantled everyone in his path and route to his first career title in Munich. But in order to win his second career title in Stockholm, Runa had to battle for 2 hours 6 minutes against Cam Nori and 2 hours 50 against Alex Di Minore, setting up the final, which he was able to win, against Stefano Tsitsipas. Sources close to Runa have told me they believe the cramping issues are in the past. In April, his mother told The Slice they hired a full-time trainer to work on prevention. It is something to monitor, but it's not difficult to think of players who have faced similar early career hurdles before ultimately finding a solution. 
Paul Anacone told me that he had cramping issues early in his career that were solved in part by fixing his potassium deficiency. A young Djokovic became known for breathing troubles in high heat before discovering an allergy to gluten. Over a decade removed from those troubles, Runa earned Djokovic's respect for fighting through their match without retiring. And Runa hopes that years down the road, that US Open match will serve merely as a distant reminder of the issue that once was and is no longer. For Baseline Media, I'm Gil Gross.